something like this cloth here um, that we're going to pour into the, the mould. Yeah. Two parts of a sphere. It's a good example, a quite clear example of mould making really. Two halves, um, but with registration kind of pins here, so they will go back together at the same time. Quite important is because I'm using this mould not just for slip casting, I'm going to use it to make some paper spheres, um, wax spheres, uh, something else. The same mould? Yeah, same mould. People are using yeah. it. In the tubes? Bicycle in the tubes? Yeah, recycled. I mean, much, I mean, they're just a the perfect thing. They've got the right tension, you can adjust them. Unlike having a big selection of rubber bands that are never the right size. happening I'm just filling it right up so it fills up. It fills the whole thing. Yeah. Actually you're gonna overfill it. Right. Yeah, you see it. Rise because up. while the wall of the sphere is forming, the water is being absorbed by the mould. And all of it sinks a little bit. So what you do is you overfill it, and in fact, if it sinks too much, you could add more while it's forming the okay. sphere. And then the, so it's not solid and it's hollow inside. When there's enough of a wall, then we'll turn it upside down and pour the excess out. You see that just here, that we, this is actually shrinking already. Does this mix take a long time to go off? When did you start mixing this up, this mix? Um, you mean to set to start to for set. the yeah. thickness? I mean, is it um, a process of you've got to <coughs> get this pulled and done? This will take about half an hour, won't it? No, yeah, I mean the actual mix, when you're mixing that. But this won't set. That no, won't set at this all. Set. Okay. What, what's, setting, what's setting this slip? Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And as it dries, it becomes max. Look, yeah. see where it's dried. Yeah. It loses that glossy surface. 